Hello, bees bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have two sweet knives to share with you guys and gals. One is a budget knife that I have a discount code for that'll be around 24 bucks. And the other one is a little more fancy, a little more fancy pants. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And here we go. This is the Remet Peacock. Would you look at it? Just look at it and all of his peacockness. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, that I say him how I see him. And this is FRN and okay, it doesn't feel too bad. You know, I'll compare this to the, the Delica and we'll see what the FRNs look like in comparison. But here's this side. You don't have a reversible pocket clip, but you do have a big old pocket clip over here. We'll see how it goes in and out of my pocket right now. And oh yeah, oh yeah, she's comfy like a glove, no problems at all. Look at that, no mushrooms growing in the shade. It's inset into the liners, major plus with the flat screws and you have a nice long back spacer. It covers about half of the knife. And oh, oh, we have a little bit of jimping. It is grabby, but it's not going around the, the flipper. We'll see how that plays out right now. Are you ready? Pow, right in the kisser. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Look at that blade, oh mama. You know, I like that blade shape. I like what we're stepping in. This is 9CR18 MOV steel. Very nice finish on it. Nice finish and nice feel on those. Ooh, ooh, I like those thumb studs. They look fancy and ooh, ooh, okay. So we have some jipping, ooh, all right. I'm telling you right now, the grip is comfortable. No hot spots, feels really good in my hand. And check this out. Plenty of room for sharpening. See, they're listening. They, they're already doing, they're light years ahead of what a lot of knife companies had to be told a thousand times to do. And you have pass-through here, plenty of room for the pass-through. Oh yeah, that's comfortable, easy to disengage. We're about 50% on the lockup. Is it centered? Yes, it is centered. The Peacock is centered. So this thing, <laughs> I'm telling you what, this has a strong detent. It, can I fail it? No, I'm, you cannot fail it. It has a really good detent. My, my concern or my little nitpick would, yes, we need more jimping because if I try it from up here, my finger will slip. But up here like this, man, it comes snapping out with a thaw tie. And how about the thumb studs? Oh yeah, all day long. And look at this, it drops shut. This, okay, look, look at that. That's about as good as it gets. I mean, 24, 25 bucks. I'm impressed already. So the hand feel is very good. Although they do have a knife called the hand feel. This one is called the Peacock. You can get these in three different colors. They have the black and then the blue, and they also have a pink. Oh yeah, you hurt me. Now from tip to tip, this bad boy is 7.56 inches. It has a 3.16 inch blade, 3.08 inches for your sharpen length. Your blade thickness is 124 thousandths of an inch. Behind the edge is 20 thousandths, and then it trails up and gets a little bit thicker. 25 thousandths behind the edge up at the tip. It is very lightweight. 3.2 ounces, so this is the perfect weight everyday carry EDC knife, folding knife that you would wanna carry. So many people say, hey, I, will, I stick, stick around three ounces. They don't like around the four ounce mark. You know, this isn't too bad. The finish on it is really nice. The fit, okay, we're solid left and right, solid up and down. I have no issues there, no wibble wobble. And you know, this is, this is a great knife. You can't beat this with a stick. For the price for $24. Um, do I have any complaints or nitpicks? Um, I don't have anything else. The jimping, what I would do if I were them, I would just make the jimping a little bit deeper into the metal so it was more grabby. They have ample amount of jimping. It's just not super grippy on my thumb. This makes a few knives that I've reviewed from or checked out from Remet so far. And look at this. They have the nice heavy duty thick case and you get the uh, nice microfiber cloth and it actually comes with a little T and T6 in case you don't have one. Remet, I'm telling you what, they're up and coming. This is, you can only get these on Amazon. This is the QSP Penguin and this is the Civivi Elementum. So if you have one of those, now you know what size we're stepping in. You know what field we're playing in. And how about this? I told you I'd bring it out, the Spyderco Delica. So it kind of reminded me a little bit of it. Now the Delica, let me give you an up close look here. So the Delica is different. The FRN sticks out, whereas this FRN is uh, pointing the other direction. So it's much more grippy on the Spyderco. And just a couple more here. How about the Kaiser Gemini? One that has had so much pocket time, I don't even know. And, oh yeah, the Vastid Raccoon. It's the Raccoon. So it, if you have one of these knives, now you know exactly where we're at size-wise. I'll just put one more popular one up here. How about 
the Kaiser Original, which is a smaller knife. This one's a little bit larger. So if you have a medium size or large size hand, speaking of large size hand, you know the width of my hand right here is three and a half inches and right here is four inches and it fits my hand very, very well. I have no issues gripping this in any grip whatsoever. And the reverse grip, reverse, reverse, very comfortable. Oh yeah, I, I can't complain. I mean, for 24 doll hairs, for 24 bones, I mean, this is, this is a good deal. Now at the time of this video, I checked and Amazon has a $5 clippable coupon and I have a 15% off discount code and it'll be in the comments and in the description of this video. And now we're gonna step it up a notch. Now, Remet used to be called QYG MGS, and we were all like, um, you know, you can't pronounce that, right? So now it's Remet Knife. Remet, oh, 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 yeah. A little bit of titanium action. You get this fancy case to go with it. Ooh, yeah, check that out. This is the Remet YHZ. Would you look at it? Just look at it and all of its titaniumness. Ooh, a little bit of milling going on right here. I like it, I like it. It has a nice feel to it. And let's see, are we centered? Uh, it might be a hair to the show side, just a hair if you're really splitting. And maybe not. I don't know. You tell me. I'm not going to spend all day on it. Check it out. Titanium pocket clip with all kinds of angles going on. I like it. I like it. And it's a frame lock. And it has a steel lock bar insert, which is very nice. You ready to see this blade? Pow! It's more like snip right in the snipper. Ooh, that is nice. I like the look of that. It's very pointy. Oh, so pointy. And I do believe this is S, no, this is a S35. This is M390 blade steel we're talking about here, ladies and gents. And look at that, plenty of room for sharpening. See, they, I'm, they are so ahead of the game. They took away my complaints before I had them. And then, okay, all right, feels pretty good in the hand. Um, I have a large size hand. I wouldn't want it any smaller. I do have full purchase on it. I have plenty of room to get my hand on there. The classic grip is great. The pocket clip is not bothering me at all. And ooh, 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 Ho hold on. All right, so it's a little tight, probably needs a little bit of, a little bit of looby doob. Um, can we reverse flick this? Oh yeah, and listen. Yes, nice acoustics. So it's very snappy. Um, the action is good. Just It's not like droppy shutty, but I would imagine a couple drops of KPL knife pivot lube, which I have a discount to, by the way, and you'd be good to go. Now this one is a more premium version of this one here. I do have a video on this. You could go check that out. These run in the 40s. It has a uh, carbon fiber going on, and these are really nice. I mean, for the price, Remet is kicking some serious butt. See, they've even improved and given it, given it some, more, some more room there for your sharpening. This one is a tad smaller. It's not as thick. And I'll, I'll put a linky do either up here or after the video or in the description where you can go check this one out if you're wanting the more budget option. But man, I'm telling you, Remet is kicking some tail. These are around 147 titanium with a titanium clip. Very nice. Let's see, the lockup is right in the middle, right where you want it. And yeah, the center, you know, it's debatable. I think it's about centered, but yeah, this is a this is a nice one. If you had extra large hands, it might be a tad small for you. I do have enough room, and this classic grip is the most comfortable. It really locks my hand into place. Your reverse grip, reverse, yes, it's, it's good. So yeah, I like it. The Remet YHZ, and then the Remet Peacock. I hope you enjoyed checking these out. If you have any questions, remember every Friday night, Bees Blades live at the Hive. Oh, right. 8.15 to 11.15 p.m. Every Friday, we hang out. If you have any questions about any of the knives you see on the videos, and also I'll have links in the description and in the comments where you could go check these knives out if you want to get some stats or some stuff I might have forgot. You can always ask questions. So I hope you're having a great day. Go check out this video. Video. You'll really enjoy that. And until I see you again or see you in the comments or the chats, remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.